Today, let's consider a familiar passage in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. Here we have a self-righteous Pharisee named Simon, who has invited Jesus into his home for a meal. Maybe Simon is intrigued by the miracles, or the growing fame of Jesus has made him curious, or perhaps he is hoping to find some fault with Jesus to accuse him of. Allow me to quickly read it to you. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee which had bidden him saw it, he spoke within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touches him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answering said to him, Simon, I have somewhat to say to you. And he said, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed five hundred pence and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore which of them will love him most. Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said to him, You have rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said to Simon, See you this woman? I entered into your house, and you gave me no water for my feet. But she has washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in has not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil you did not anoint, but this woman has anointed my feet with ointment. Why I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. And he said to her, your sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgives sins also? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. This passage of scripture shows us some important things. It shows the woman giving to Christ what was probably her most valuable earthly possession. It shows the deity of Christ by him being able to forgive sins. It shows the correct response to our sin, which is a broken and repentant heart. It shows salvation through faith in Christ. But let me draw your attention to a phrase that you might have missed. That may be the key to understanding the primary focus of this passage. Verse 42, when they had nothing to pay. Simon, being a self-righteous Pharisee, was thinking that he could earn God's favor by keeping the law of Moses and the traditions of the synagogue. He saw himself as righteous, as a good person, and not as a sinner, like this uninvited woman of ill repute on his floor. He thought, she is indeed a sinner, but not me. He thought, if Jesus really is a prophet, then he should know that she is a filthy sinner and not clean like me. Simon didn't even show Jesus the hospitality that an honored guest would have received, such as a warm welcome and water to wash his feet. So Jesus uses this moment to break it down for Simon and for all of us. Jesus illustrates by speaking of someone who owed a debt and another who owed an enormous debt. Then the key phrase, when they had nothing to pay. If both are bankrupt, then they are both equally unable to pay. Jesus is saying to Simon that he is bankrupt and just as unable to pay as she is. We do greatly err when we compare ourselves among ourselves. 
We like to compare ourselves to people who are really bad in our eyes, and we think that we must therefore be good. Our own opinion of ourselves is not what we will be judged by, but we will be judged by a holy God in His holy commands, which reveal that none of us are good. Repent of your sin, realize you are a guilty sinner and have nothing to pay your sin debt with. Then put your faith in Jesus Christ and Him alone for your salvation. Thank you.